Upon logging into Arena this morning, or perhaps yesterday evening if you're in the UK, to get access to Foundations, the brand new Magic the Gathering set, you might have noticed a lot of freebies and new stuff being given to you. That's because we're getting a lot of extra precons, as you can see here. These ones down here, these are all decks that are... I guess meant to aim you towards standard, more on that in a moment. But as the thing gives you minutes and minutes of showing you all the new cool stuff, which is kind of fun actually, and I, I liked seeing a load of rares in there, even if only two copies of some of them, getting a load of freebies for the new set is remarkably more generous than you'd expect from MTG Arena, considering how bad the economy has been in the past. And I for one want to point out when Arena does well, because I want Digital Magic to succeed, and I want it to be less of a a joke. So here are the decks, and they all need crafting, barring this one here for some reason, and also the one that I've now just deleted because I finished it as a trial for this video and I've binned it off. I don't think any of these decks are going to be good. We're going to try playing this deck in the moment in standard to see how good it is. But why do they need to be crafted? Why does Cat Attack need one rare? Well, let me explain this to you before you go crafting. Do not hit craft all. Hit craft all, and you get one rare while gone. No, no. What's missing from here? It's Charming Prince in this case. Why is Charming Prince missing? Let me show you. In Arena's Infinite Wisdom, if you own four copies of a rare already, when being given a new precon by the system, they are not going to give you a free card that you already own. Now, this seems very stingy, and at first I was very confused, because I managed to open some cards that I thought I already owned from packs shortly after this. I even moaned about it on Twitter here. Turns out, with further investigation, I actually had three copies of this card, and that's why I got a fourth one in my first ten packs from Foundations. So, long story short... To explain, you will not get a copy of a rare you already own four copies of when they give you the new decks. So do not craft them. Instead, remove this Charming Prince and add this Charming Prince. And voila, the deck is finished. I now have access to Cats as it... Sorry, Cat Attack. Cats is a deck that I'm going to make a video about in a moment. This is Cat Attack. Now, the point of this video as well is to explain that this isn't as bad as I first thought. It's confusing. And I think this should be clearer when you log in. And I think Arena could do a lot better to make themselves not look silly by making this clear. But in essence, I'm not going to open a Charming Prince from Foundations either. So there is duplicate protection here. I cannot open one or get given one, should I say, by this new deck system. But I also can't open one from a booster because you can't open a card that you already own four copies of with the same art from a previous set. A duplicate protection that was introduced around Wilds of Eldraine. But of course you can be tricked, and probably not purposefully so, into wasting wild cards on cards you already have four copies of when you log in this morning if you want to try one of these decks. So this is the public service announcement. Make sure and double check if you've got cards that mean you have to craft them for this thing. You've got them in your collection. you just got to swap them out for the, the correct versions. Let's apply styles. There we go. Pacifism now looks wider. And for a little bit of fun, I'm going to play one game with Cat Attack in standard. We'll do ranked. We'll do Cat Attack. We'll do best of one. I don't think it's got a sideboard. I do think them giving you these decks, even if the decks suck, which I think we're about to see that they do. I haven't really looked at that very close to, by the way. Play a deck you haven't looked at. Not the best plan, but here we go into Pyroclasm. I think I'm going to Pyroclasm my cats. They're even a cat themselves. Are the cards all from Foundations? I mean, these cards are okay. This card is not okay. Okay, well, upgrades are needed. They can't give you a fully functional standard deck, I guess. Apparently, it's planes into crawling chorus. Okay, we're going to gain life, which won't matter too much if they are on a full-on toxic deck. They're probably thinking, what a scrub over here. Pleasant Kenobi, more like shit, bitch. Okay, we do snakeskin veils to protect our creatures. We've got a Hydra, which is... Comes with the plus one count on it, a landfall grows it. Double it. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, this is the Surveil creature when it ends or dies, and this is the... Oh, classic from Throne of Eldraine, I believe. You can play Manager, but counts only play non non humans. Yeah, okay. Let's go for a Surveil one on our three wall, which will happily kill this core. I say that. It's actually probably not a good trade. Getting toxic up and probably isn't good either. Are they all just white weenie? To Cassius welcome. Sure, you're gonna get to draw a card every turn. So when this dies now, they will draw a card. I'm gonna say no blocks to take another one. I think making this into three, two to block this is better. Anthem of Champions. That'll grow my team. Pretty good. Okay, let's go. Anthem of Champions. This is the new, like, um, it's not Crusade, because Crusade is a naughty word according to Wizards of the Coast. Uh, that makes me sound like I'm some sort of edgy, irreverent YouTuber, which maybe arguably I am. The, the Crusade was banned, wasn't it, for, 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 um, what was the word I'm looking for? It was to be, so I'm trying to follow the game as well. Um, conscious of, like, real world cultures, I guess, but let's be honest, there's, there's far worse cards than Crusade. That one was an incorrect card to put in alongside cards that can vote prejudice. We're going to untap. Oh, baby, we're going to slam a Mossborn Hydra here. Annoyingly, playing the planes after the fact, which doubles the counters here. Doesn't allow us to keep Snakes can um, uh, Veil up. But, uh, well, it is what it is. I don't think our opponent's on one of the precons. Enduring Innocence plus to cast his Welcome. They're going to draw so many more cards than us. we got to kill them. If they don't kill this soon, it will get real big, right? 
Can we give more counters to it? This puts a counter on it, I guess. Hmm. It's now a 5-5. Five five. Let's go to combat and attack with our 5-5 five five Trampler. Do they have anything? They have a lot of mana open. They have a fountain port to make fish with if they really wanted to. And then we're going to go... I think Wildborn Preserve. Make it a 3-3 two, two, a three, three with the Anthem. I'm going to go Wary Thespian. I'm going to pay the 1 to grow my Wildborn Preserve. Oh, yes, I am. Take action. X equals zero, 1. Zero. We go. I like big Wildborn Preservers, and I cannot lie. they got so much mana. What are they doing? Just making a 1-1 one, one Toxic Creature. Okay. Drawing them two cards. Whenever creature you control en enters... Gain a life? Okay, that card does not seem good. It is a flyer, though. Bad at the toxic in terms of the life gain not mattering, I guess. But I guess a giant pride mate might be in this deck. So far, as far as a pre con's concerned, I feel like we're in a powerful spot. I'm just scared they're going to cast something really gross that we can't really interact with. Straw tapped creatures. My Mossborn Hydra. I was enjoying that. This card's really cool. Fine, 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 fine. You draw your cards. I could have been brutal if I'd swung out, couldn't it? X on my Preserver. Game three life, jeez. Okay, we'll go Dazzling Angel, which kind of sucks. I really want to kick this, if I'm honest. Yeah, I want to kick this. So we're going to wait till next turn. No attacks. I guess they want to spring out and then cast a split up. Three mana split up, so good. To cast his welcome again. So they're now drawing three cards a creature. How am I meant to beat that? This is broken. Nothing from them. I'm not joking. I might just put a counter on my Dazzling Angel and start killing them with it. I've got to kill them eventually before they kill us, right? We untap. We're going to go... Forest and a, this kickered. Kickered, kickered, kickhead, kickered. God, thought I was gonna have a stroke then. Dazzling Angel in the sky for four. Wham, bam, take you to 11, ma'am. Also, the one in betwixt, like another 1 1 Infector. Toxica. Draw three cards. My goodness. That's basically Splinter Twin. I think keeping this angel on top. Well, if we win with it, it was great. If we don't win with it, it was bad, right? And that's the only way to determine whether that surveil was correct. So they're going to attack with a load of stuff. Sure, 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 sure. We're going to block a load of stuff and then probably get Wrath. So I think that's what's going to happen here. Protection, sure. Protection saves one of the creatures from dying. What's a Hexproof from? Oh, it gives it double Toxic. So we're going to take two Toxic here. They get their Enduring Innocence back. Make a 1-1. One, one. Draws in three cards. Bada boom, bada bing. God, white card draw is insane right now. Maybe I should be playing Mono White in Standard. But I don't want to play Toxic. Toxic's for... For losers, opponent. Sunfall. Okay. Better draw something good off the top, I don't know. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Jeez. Scrolls Hive. Drawing them three cards a turn. Well, we expected this to be the way this game went, right? That's not what we needed. Should have sandbagged it. Here we go. They make a 1-1. One, one. Draw three cards. Oh my goodness. What a cool deck. Standard is pretty cool right now. Just because these pre-cons are not. I guess I dislike the idea that the deck is primarily built from just creatures that have the word toxic written on them. Do you know what I mean? Like... That's not a very exciting or interesting game of magic to me. I want four, in fact. We're about to take, um, sorry, poison counters. We're about to take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The game is over, but we gave it a go. We gave it our best shot. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you with why your decks needed some, some like, um, crafting done to them if you wanted to complete them. It's not that they haven't given you a whole deck. It's that their duplicate, the words are hard. The duplicate protection is a hot mess on Arena right now, and it even applies to freebies. Weird stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now. Good game, opponent. Good game. Even if you are playing the 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 Sigma Infect Toxic versus the Alpha Chad's Green White Precon.